Hi, my name is Chris McClanahan, and I am with the Cloud Management Business Unit and the Technical Marketing Team. In this video, you're going to see how to create an Azure Cloud account in Cloud Assembly. A couple of assumptions uh, when you're going to create your Azure endpoint in Cloud Assembly. Um, the first one is you already have an Azure account established. You have the appropriate rights to create and manage permissions for objects in Azure and you have administrative rights in Cloud Assembly to create cloud accounts. So some of the information that we're gonna to need to collect uh, as we're setting up our Azure uh, endpoint uh, directly from Azure are the subscription ID, the tenant ID, and the app application ID, and then the secret key for the application. First, let's look at how we get the subscription ID. Getting our subscription ID in Azure is, is really simple. Um, from the Azure portal uh, at the dashboard, we just need to go over to cost management and billing. And then we can copy our uh, subscription ID uh, directly from this page under the My Subscriptions category. Now that we've got our subscription ID, let's look and see how we get our tenant ID. Once we have our subscription ID copied down, the next thing we need to do, need to do is get our director ID or we also call that the tenant ID. And to do that, you just go to Azure Active Directory and then select on Properties. And then you will copy the directory ID, uh, which again is also called the tenant ID. Now that we've got our tenant ID, let's look at how we create an application ID in Azure. Next, we need to register an application to use with Cloud Assembly as our cloud account for Azure. To do that, we'll go to App Registration and we'll select New Application. We're going to enter a name for the application and then we're going to leave it as Web App slash API. We do need to enter a URL, but this URL is not used, so you can type anything in here. And then we'll click on Create. Now that you've created your um, application or you've registered your application in Azure, uh, we've got a couple other bits of information here. The next is the application ID. So you're gonna need this ID uh, to enter into your Azure Cloud account in Cloud Assembly. And finally, let's create the secret key for the application as well as set the permissions needed. Now that we've got our application ID, we need to create our secret key for the application. So we'll go to settings, and then we're going to go down to keys. We'll give the key a name, and we'll set a duration to never expires, or you can set whatever duration you want. Now that we've given it a name and the expiration time frame, we'll hit save. The important piece of this is that once you have the key here, you need to copy it because you will not be able to get back to it. So if for some reason you lose this value, you will need to um, recreate a key uh, so you can get a new value. Because again, once you leave the screen, you will not be able to get this key. So now that we've got our subscription ID, we've got our tenant or directory ID, we've got our application ID, and we've got the secret key for the application. Now we need to set the permissions required for the particular application. So we'll go to required permissions, select add, select an API, and select the Windows Azure Service Management API, and then select. Now we need to give permissions by selecting delegate permissions and select, and then click done. Now that we have our application permissions set up, we have a couple more permissions that we need to set so that uh, CloudAssembly can access your Azure account as needed. First, go to uh, cost management and billing, then select your subscription, then go to access control and add role assignment. We're gonna select the contributor role, and then we're gonna look for the application that we created. We'll select the application once we find it, and then we'll click save. We're gonna repeat this process with the owner role as well as the reader role. Now that we've created all the permissions necessary within the UI, we'll have one more thing that we need to set, which is give the Microsoft.Compute namespace to our subscription. To add the Microsoft namespace to your subscription, you must go first and download the Azure CLI um, you can do this by going to the following link. Once you have 
installed the Azure CLI, you can then log in doing the following in a terminal window. This will open up a browser window and you'll be able to log in with your credentials. And then once you get this notice, you can then open up the terminal window again and you'll see that you're logged in. At this point now, you can then run the following command and this will add the namespace to your subscription. Once this command completes, you are now able to set up your Azure cloud account within CloudAssembly. Once you have successfully set up Azure to connect to CloudAssembly, you can log into the platform, create a new cloud account, enter the information that you collected during the setup, validate, select the region in which you want to deploy uh, workloads in, and then click Add. You have now set up Azure Endpoint in CloudAssembly. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.